Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon, Timber and Stone, episode number 11. Big rename episode, finally. I know I've been talking about it for a while, I'm finally doing it now. The reason why I hadn't done it before is because I do bulk recordings, so I, that means that I record a lot of episodes in one sitting. So it takes me a while before I actually, you know, do another set of renames, or initially, or also take in, like, you know, any advice I've been getting. It takes me a while to actually kind of, um, insert it into my gameplay itself. But, we are here on video recording, a new batch of recordings, so... If you are not interested in renames, mind you, go ahead and skip the video like maybe two minutes ahead. I'll probably have an annotation for you. This is only if you're not interested in renames. If you don't care about renames, you just want to watch the game, more power to you. There will be an annotation for you to jump forward. For all of you interested in renames, though, we finally got it done. So let's take a look at what we've done over here. Let's see, who are you, my friend? Gabriel. Alrighty, well, there you go, Gabriel. First rename. I'll explain really quickly how I came about these renames, kind of, a little bit. I'm not going to dip into it too much, but I'll at least give you a few hints here. Gabriel, welcome aboard. Next person, Davion Evans. I think he used to be Braun, right? I know that golden mustache anywhere, dog. So, um, Davion Evans, welcome aboard. We also have Scabia. I think that's right. Scabia. Scabia. Either way, welcome aboard. You... We also have Cortana, the farmer over here. Who is this? We have Fatal Extraction, who's over here uh, taking the part of Adam Deluck, if I remember correctly. So Adam Deluck is now Fatal Extraction. We have Dragon. I'm not sure why Dragon is a fucking Timberman, but apparently he is. So, you know, after slaying dragons, he goes over there, just chops down some wood. I guess how he kind of keeps those burly muscles up and running for him. And then Gabriel. Is that it? No, no. Wait a minute. We have two Gabriels? No, we can't have two Gabriels. That's just incorrect. Gabe, I already talked to you. Don't get a second shout-out, dog. Don't be a shout-out, um, whore. <laughs> uh, we also have Mark Solar. Mark Solar, welcome aboard. You also have um, a golden thing. Maybe you used to be Braun. I'm not sure. One of these guys used to be Braun, though. We have R. Kelly 5, which kind of sounds like R. Kelly 5. Like, you know, the, you know, R&B musician. You know, he used to pee on, you know, underage girls. But that's besides the point. R. Kelly 5, welcome aboard. We also have Silent Psychopad and Starcasters and Avian Evans. So... How did I come about these renames, you might be asking yourself? Well, I took a little bit, um, the episode that I, I think it was episode number four, I asked for suggestions. A few people left them, a few people didn't. What I did is I read the suggestions that people did leave, and I kind of came about my own permutation of it. And, um, I took a lot of little suggestions that people took, and I kind of made, like, this whole little weird integrated process of it. So, I'm gonna choose how we make these renames. It is partly randomized, too, so don't feel too bad about it. If you didn't get renamed today, don't feel bad. There'll be more chances to get more people renamed to more colonists or settlers if we get into the colony itself. So everybody still has a chance, believe me. Um, that said and done, we have a lot of different things we need to start talking about here today. First and foremost, let me go into design. And oh, well, that's partly more than enough. If you see over here, we have an issue going on. Well, not really an issue, it's a good thing. We have a wall set up properly over here. As you can see now, it's actually three uh, blocks high. You know, I was doing like the one block wall. That's not going to stop anybody. You know how I found that out? Because I saw people just walking over the one block and I was like, wait a minute. That's not going to keep skeletons out of the place. So I found out through your comments and also just a little bit of research on my own. Three blocks is pretty good. Two is ideal, but I want to go with three just because I feel pretty good about it. Now, you're probably wondering, Falcon, does it take a lot of bricks? And you've been making bricks for a while. You're right. Let me get this going on in the background meanwhile. You're probably wondering, Falcon, that's going to require a lot of bricks, and you're right. So what I did here, and it's going to really bother my OCD, it's going to bother a lot of your OCD too, believe me. I know a lot of you guys are the same way as I am about it when it comes to OCD here. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Hey, you. Hey, let me highlight this man. Dragon, come on, dog, we just started the episode, you're already asleep. This guy. Um, you're wondering yourself, um, you know, what was the question? I already forgot what the hell the question was. Oh yeah, bricks, right. <laughs> I don't have that many bricks. Um, it would take forever to make bricks enough to fill this out, so we've done the next best thing, which is actually switch over to just regular, um, where is this thing at? Um, what I'm looking for here, it's been a while since I played this, give me a second here, walls. I switched over to Fieldstone. Now, that means that basically the bricks that are already here are gonna, a little bit clash a bit, and it bothers me a lot, speaking of which, we already have, uh, Scabia over here working on it, so thank you, Scabia. So as you can see right here, Hey, hey, don't zoom in that fast, man. What's your problem? Um, bricks and then the stone. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. But here's the thing. We just need something up and running for now for our defenses because skeletons are terrifying as all hell. I don't want to deal with them. I need some proper defenses. It would take so long to get this wall up and running with bricks, so I switched this up a little bit. Mind you, this is not going to be our ultimate 
layout. I at some point want to actually move up to maybe somewhere in the center, make a little pretty nice castle, society type of civilization. Maybe you might do like a village, if anything, if not a castle. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this is not permanent. This is just kind of to get our people, add more people to our colony for one. And number two, also just to get kind of get us secured. So that is what we're doing over here. So we're going to switch that over to um, regular stone because we have a shit ton of stone. We don't have enough brick to make this happen. So we have done that. And hopefully you guys understand what I'm kind of going with here. Now, the other thing that I need is a lot of copper ore. And I found a way to kind of level up my blacksmith. It's going to be kind of repetitive and a little bit ridiculous, but hear me out. I found a way to actually... Storage, excuse me, tools? Alright, we need to tool shed really quickly here. So, uh, storage, tools... You can't... Um, people have also been telling me in the comments, Falcon, you could actually upgrade your existing stockpiles of things. And I'm going to start doing that, so thank you for that very much. I... Really didn't know if you could kind of go back over here and do this, see? As you can see right here, upgraded storage. Yeah, you could do that. So I wasn't aware of that, so thank you for that information. Um, but right now, I don't think you could upgrade these bad boys, right? No. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, go to storage, which we are here. We're going to go into tools. We need another tool chest for now. We might even actually put two up. I'm not sure. So for now, let's just place you here. And here sounds pretty good to me. All righty. So I'll get up and running pretty soon. This is actually made by my carpenter. We do have a carpenter, right? That should be Silent Psychopath if I'm right. Oh, it totally is her. Alrighty, so Silent Psychopath, you take care of that for me. Now, mining is going to be really important because we need a lot of copper ore to get my blacksmith leveled up for one, and also to get some better weapons because right now we're just rolling with clubs, and that's not something I'm too excited about doing. Hey, you guys want to go back to work? No? No, I'm just having a break here, Falcon. You know what, Mark Solar? I don't really like the cut of your jig suddenly. Stonemason, oh, you're suddenly done. You know what? Only because I don't want you working on bricks doesn't mean that you have to stop. I would like a brick population over time, just not right now. So um, let me go into my resources here. And what do we need to do? We're going to process materials and bricks. Here we go. Um, Currently in storage 112. Maintain in storage 112. Well, you actually met your goal, so I can't really be too upset about that, can I? But I am. Because <laughs> Falcon always changes his mind about everything. So we're going to actually up this up. Quite a significant amount here, just so they're constantly working on stone. Alrighty, so you guys go back to work if you don't mind, alright? Both of you. Mark Solar and Davian Ovens, come on. Hop to it. Okay, next thing. We have you building... Hey, R. Kelly 5? R. Kelly... F <laughs> fucking name's gonna always crack me up now. R. Kelly and Scabby over here building my wall, which is really ideal. I prefer to get the wall up and running before the little um, cottage I was building over here, so hopefully you guys understand. Defenses is a lot more important than um, having a little place where they could sleep. However, I'm not opposed to actually getting some little beds in here because we only have one. So let's see about doing that really quickly. What do I need for that? Probably objects, maybe some furniture. Sounds pretty good. Straw bed. It would require one animal hide. And eight wheat. Is that, or is that wild? No, that's, that's wheat. That is definitely wheat. And we do have a wheat field coming in over here, so that should kind of help us out, right? Um, so, let's see here. How is our animal skin coming along here? Raw materials. Animal skin? Animal hide, I should say. 26? Oh yeah, we could definitely make a few beds for them. We could even, no, we can't do comfortable beds yet. We could probably do blanketed beds, but it seems like kind of a big issue for something that's going to be temporary. So yeah, definitely straw beds. That's actually made by the farmer, if I'm right. So, let's come over here, and we'll place some beds on this side over here. So let's do one, two, um, well, I guess we'll put it here for now. Two, three, how many people do we have? We have a significant amount of people, right? So, ah, uh, place you like so, like so. And I think that might be enough for what we have right now. I should count my people to make sure this is right, but for now, I think this should work out. So we'll do that and that maybe too. Alrighty. There you go. Here comes, um, here comes Scabia to work on the wall. And Cortana's over here making my beds. Excellent. Alrighty, so you guys are going to have some places to finally sleep now as opposed to just the entrance of the area here. That needs to be deconstructed at some point, but I'm going to let um, Dragon get a good night's sleep over here. He has night terror, so I don't really want to wake him up. He's going to wake up screaming and yelling. I'm not sure why Dragon's batshit insane, but apparently he is. Now, copper ore. Let's not forget what's the task at hand, Falcon. We need a lot of copper ore. So in order to actually make this happen, we need to get some mining process done over here. And we need to actually dig pretty far down in order to find the copper ore. So we have to kind of take that into consideration. And also, 
Whoever my blacksmith is, I found, I mentioned earlier, I found a way to kind of um, level them up slowly, but surely. It requires three timber. Don't call me Shirley, by the way. Um, it requires three timber. We have 105 of it right now, which isn't too bad. So what I'm going to do is actually make a lot of these little storage, which I don't think I really require. But just because it'll actually get my blacksmith leveled up, we're going to actually do a few of them. So let's go to storage and we'll do... What is that one supposed to be? Like, um... Mm, miscellaneous? Uh, yes. Miss storage provides 40 mass. So, you come over here. And when I'm... Excuse me, that's not the one whatsoever, Falcon. You liar. Don't lie to me. Minecart. There we go. Minecart. So we need to rotate you, for one. And I'll place you here. Now, again, this is only temporary, so I'm going to actually put a lot of these bad boys just kind of um, hanging out over here by the shore. Because I just need them momentarily just to level up my dude. So, um, I think this will kind of help us out. I don't think you get too much experience um, in terms of um, building for this, but at least it'll kind of give us some, a little bit of experience to kind of level up my blacksmith meanwhile. I know it's going to require, again, a shit ton of timber, but that's okay. We do have a lot of wood. <laughs> eh. Actually, we don't. We only have 59. What am I talking about? But we do have enough timber already stored up that we could actually make this happen. So, let's just kind of bring you along. Like, so I should have placed a few over here, honestly, but okay. Let's just do this for now, and we'll see how this goes. Now, Blacksmith, where is my... Blacksmith? Oh, the spider's been spotted by Cortana. Oh, hey, 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 wait a minute, spider. Hey, dragon. Dragon, there's a spider coming at you, dog. I'm not sure. Your night terrors are coming into reality now. Okay. Um, this is actually kind of terrifying, because this man's asleep. Hey, you want to wake up, dragon? There's a spider right after you, dog. Who is my fighting people now? That's my other question here. So let me go into you here. And let's see, we have, well, the thing here's the problem. We have to kind of go and actually equip them. That's going to take too long. I think at this point, a spider is kind of within our grasp to just kind of kill regularly. So, Cortana, if you don't mind, we are going to just charge this enemy, all of us. All of us are. So, um, number one, Dragon, you need to wake your ass up, dog. I'm sorry that you're asleep having a good time here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just run. <laughs> just run, dog. Um... And you know what? Keep running over... Excuse me, why are my birds over here freaking out? Hey! You guys mind keeping it down? I'm recording right now. These guys. Alrighty, hey. Charge the enemy. Come on. Come on, come on. Hey, use your stone pick if you have to. Come over here, Gabriel. Peter Gabriel, come over here. Alrighty. We're gonna go after this individual right now if we can. I said everybody charge at him. Please charge at him right now. Punch him. Use your stone pick. Oh, he's dead. It's over. Not a big deal. Let's uh, go ahead and gather resources and get rid of that guy. Alrighty. Again, scary, but we got it under control. Um, Dragon, you go back to sleep if you want to, dog. It's fine. I just needed to wake you up because that spider was coming after you. You saw it was coming after you, right? I woke you up just in time. So, if anything, you have Falcon to uh, kind of um, thank you for your life being alive here still. Your life being alive. That makes perfect sense. Alrighty. Now then, one second while I, you know, quiet my birds down. They're just going batshit insane over there. Alrighty, apologies about that. I think they're under control. I just kind of beat them with my um, bird-beating stick. And don't take that the wrong way. Number one, I'm not using something inanimate. Don't take bird-beating stick as something perverse, number one. Number two, I didn't really beat them. I love my birds, even though they sometimes make life miserable for me when I'm trying to record, especially. Alrighty, so um, wood is something we kind of need. Dragon's over here kind of woodcutting. Now, let's take a look at what we have set up where. We have Cortana over here as a farmer, which is really important. Forager is Adam Deluxe, or I should say Fatal Extraction now. Uh, wood Shopper is Dragonet 2. We have Gabriel as a miner. We need two miners right now because we've been mining a lot. Stone Mason kind of don't need... Actually, it's two, tones, two Stone Masons. We only need one now because um, we're not really focusing on bricks too much. So what I could do is actually have Davion Evans. He's a level 2 wood chopper. Kind of give us a hand over here. So Davion Evans, come over here and start wood chopping, my friend. And um, give me a hand here. So Davion Evans is going to be over here, hanging out in his little tool chest. Uh, let me go into this over here, and I want to quickly... You're up to 12? That's good. Grab the proper equipment that you need, and then also do independently chop nearby f wood. That's good. Yeah, go for it, dog. So you're fine. Let me take a look at this really quickly again. So we have two wood choppers, two miners, and we need the blacksmith to kind of start leveling up a bit more as well. Who's my blacksmith? That's the million dollar question here, and that is going to be Scabia. No, that's Builder, Falcon. <laughs> I, I, I can see, I swear to God again. R. Kelly, who happens to be building right now. So, we're going to actually have to drop him from building. Let's also get these little um things out of the way, these notifications here. 
Alrighty, yeah, thank you for the notifications, but I'm done. Alrighty. Um, what I'm gonna do is, um, R. Kelly. He needs to be found, and he needs to be turned into a blacksmith so he can start leveling that up a little bit here. So, R. Kelly, excuse me, builder, there you are. You're building the wall. I appreciate that, I do, but you need to go back to being a blacksmith, my friend. Things need to be happening over here. You need to be leveling up a bit more. So, there you go. So, um, it's gonna be all up to Cortana, I believe, to build the wall for now. So, you know, more power to her. Now, you're over here working on timber, if I am correct, right? Crafting timber, you totally are. So, mining. Important as well. Let me look at my mining setup over here. What I want to do is actually build like a little bit of a staircase. Now, I am not a big... Well, actually, I don't think I've ever played Minecraft in my entire life. I Maybe I messed around with a demo of it at some point in my, you know, existence, but I've never actually, like, you know, pro MOG played it. So, um... I do know that in Minecraft you could jump though, right? So it's a lot easier to kind of not dig yourself into a hole. I mean, you still can't, but you could jump. Over here you can't jump. So, what we need to do is actually build ourselves, or at least mine ourselves, a staircase so that we constantly could go back up. Why am I talking about this? Because maybe off-camera I might have played with an off-camera save and I ended up getting my miner stuck in the pit and I couldn't get him out. And it was, you know, hilarity ensued. Well, hilarity ensued towards me, but at the same time I felt really terrible about my decision in life <laughs> to do that so um, let me go ahead here let's find a way to kind of mine this out oh there's copper ore right there that's exactly what we're looking for so we have one level two level this right here needs to be mined this will be the next one that we need to mine down so we'll take this down through here I would say and this is gonna be my staircase to heaven and we're building the storage over here it's gonna level up my blacksmith a little bit let's take a look at how much this actually levels up though huh so let's see here. We have R. Kelly 5 coming over here. Let's look at his experience as he does this over here for us. And level 5, like roughly here. That is going to give me how much experience. You see, it's not too much, but it's something. It's a lot better than just waiting around till we finally get some copper ore, you know? So it's something. Alrighty. So you keep working on that. Hey, we have a two-level stone wall now here. Good. Keep working, Gordana. I appreciate what you're doing over here for us. And you're going to continue or start working on our staircase. Excellent. This boar over here keeps hanging out. I can domesticate him, huh? Huh. That's how you domesticate? You just kind of click on him and you just click on that. Huh. Interesting. Um, we haven't done this just yet. I was told in the comments to kind of hold off on this for a second. And I agree. Not only because of the, you know, comment that I read, but also the fact that I think number one is kind of getting my wall up and running. After we have a little proper defense set up, we could kind of start thinking about domesticating animals. I don't think we really need it right now, right now. I do have my pens over here set up, so we will do that at some point. And we have my farmer, Cortano, over here sleeping away, so that's fine. Um, You know what? Here's the thing, Scabia. I appreciate what you're doing, but I'd rather have you finish up the, you know, the walls first. That's a little bit more important, if you don't mind. Yeah, you're not going to do it, though, are you? No. Okay. You know what? That's only, like, a few more squares left. You might as well do it. Let me forward time as well. Let's speed it up a little bit here to get some more of this shit done in time, I would say. Alrighty. We have... Uh, we have everybody going to sleep now in the middle of the... Well, it's actually late afternoon. I have a really terrible perception of time. Fatal Extraction, Starcasters, Davion Evans, and my farmer's over here sleeping as well. Alrighty, you guys sleep. It's fine. You know what? It's good if they have, like, a really different uh, sleeping pattern too because then it means I could actually work overnight now. I've been trying to set up a way to kind of do that. Like, you know, just have people sleep in daytime, some of them, and then some work in... or sleep in nighttime to kind of have everybody doing something at all times of the day. But, you know, I haven't really mastered that just yet, so it's gonna take me a little while before I figure out a pretty good schedule. But for now, it's actually kind of working out pretty fine. Alrighty. And you're over here doing this over here? Are you kind of like close to level 6? That'd be amazing if you are. No. <laughs> You're going to be quite a while before you get level 6. Level 6 is, I think, the level where you can start making some higher weapons, if I am correct. Or was it 5 that we were aiming for? I forget which one it was. Either way, um, what's her face is over here, Scabia. No offense. I didn't mean an offensive thing by saying what's her face, but you are over here building the wall, and that makes me really happy. Now, can you actually work on the lower level first and then the second level? I mean, you know, it kind of make it easier for me, honestly. But, you know, I'll leave it to your own discretion here. And again, we have the uh, stumps over here. Falcon and his stumps. It's a real thing, mind you. Let's get this up and running. All these stumps need to go. All stumps must go. Sail to the century. Going out of business. Stumps are, you know, fuck stumps forever, essentially, now. Move that. 
Move that. Mind you, I don't really have to do this. This is my fault for not setting up proper wood chopping areas and just giving them like a big area to check out by themselves, but whatever, man. Now, um, do we have two wood choppers? Is my real question. We do. Alrighty. Excellent. We're up to 50, well, we're down to 51 wood, I would say. 80 timber. We have a lot of stone, thanks to the mining that we're doing over here. We did find some copper ore, which is right here. I want to get to that, but again, we need to kind of um, make the little staircase first and foremost here. Speaking of a weird staircase, we have this thing set up over here too. Let me get rid of this level here. That's really awkward. It's fucking ramp. <laughs> it's like a grass ramp. Righty, I'm sorry, grass ramp. We don't skate on you around here, okay? This isn't fucking Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Now, let's get rid of some more of these stumps while we have the chance here. Now, we also, I'm, I'm worried about Skeletors um, popping up at night. And just, you know, trying to probe me with their bones and whatnot. I meant their bones are actual bones, not their boner, okay? Don't take that the wrong way. But I am worried about that, so... I'm gonna do a little quick search around really soon and see what they're up to. Assuming there's any on the map right now. Remember, they like to just hang out and watch us sleep like the perverts that they are, so... You never know when they're gonna pop up from. That's my really big fear. I see something moving over here. That's just a little chicken. Alrighty. Speaking of little chickens, Falcon's a little chicken when it comes to these um, skeletons now, isn't he? Don't tell him that, though. <laughs> I like to imagine I'm a really brave man. Are we looking alright here? Are we? We better be. I, I don't see any movement anywhere. I don't see anything that's really popping up as a Skeletor, so... We might be safe for now. I might be missing spiders, though, but... At least I don't see any skeletons. Alrighty, that was a really quick, uh... Browse about. I didn't see anything too uh, particular that I'm too worried about, so we're fine in that regard. You guys are still sleeping? Anybody still working? Because if nobody's working, I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna skip forward to when you guys wake up. Dragon collects one seedling. To right, yeah, we still have people out there doing stuff. It is now evening. Alrighty, hey, you wanna join the rest of us over here? By the way, I should probably set up ownerships for these beds too, huh? Nah, I think we have enough for everybody we have anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Who are you, Scabia? You're still building walls. Scabia is a baller. It's kind of like, you know, Falcon, I don't even sleep. I understand how imperative it is to build this wall, unlike everybody else who's asleep over here, when they should be working. And you know what, Scabia? Thank you for that. Um, let's see. We have this whole minecart process here. We really need this so much, right? Uh. Alrighty. Now, how about what we're added? How is our storage looking like over here? We, let's see, tools are looking fine, food's looking alright. Wood is at 100 360 and masonry is 589 of 940. So again, uh, thanks to your comments, I did realize that you know you could actually upgrade this, so I will be doing that as opposed to adding more stockpiles soon. The other thing we're going to have to start worrying about, I think, kind of soon is actually the the storage for the wheat, because we're going to have a lot of that coming in soon, I would imagine. Um, Let's see. Provides for 12 mass, huh? I wonder how much wheat do we have? Let's see, raw wheat 26. Hmm. Yeah, at some point or another, we're gonna have to make a hay pile. Part of the reason why I'm bypassing the, um, this as well is because you're actually gonna need wheat to feed your animals, and right now I'm just trying to store up a pretty good amount before we actually start working on it ourselves, so that's the other reason why I'm actually taking a break from that. But luckily, she's up and running again, Cortana is, and we'll be fine. Now, other tips that people have left me. Falcon, if you want to make money, sell seeds. That's the money maker. And I was like, oh, thank you for that. So again, I appreciate your comments, every single thing that you leave me. Even though I don't immediately do it, believe me. It's all not because I don't want to do it. It's because I record episodes at one time. So the next time I sit down and record a few more episodes, then is when I read over your comments and I'm like, oh, okay. And then that set of recordings will have your advice incorporated. I mention this a lot, but I just want to make sure that, you know, at least new viewers understand how I do things over here. Alrighty, so you know what? We're going to call an episode here. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. We have a lot of stuff happening now, and I feel that my little off time playing on my own, <laughs> and by that I mean playing the game, not anything else, um, my own time playing on my own accord, I've picked up some information that's going to actually help us succeed going forward. So, again, leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. And again, I'll still keep doing reading, so don't worry about that, and um, I will catch you next time.